Hello everybody, I'm Fabian and welcome back to the channel. First up, if you're new here and you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It's that big red button down below and also an early thumbs up really helps out the channel. This week, I'd like to talk to you about chain cleaning. As you can see, this one's got plenty of old lube, dirt and gunk on it and it really needs a clean. You could say actually this chain is sort of on its way out, but it seems to serve me well and it's still quite tight on the sprocket here. So I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit longer. Now, when it comes to chain cleaning products, there are so many on the market out there. But in my opinion, they're too expensive and they often don't work quite as well as they say they will. But I have an alternative that is much cheaper and works pretty damn well every single time. Now that alternative I'm talking about is used leftover or old engine oil. It's pretty much free. As I'm sure as a motorcyclist, a lot of you change your own oil and you're always gonna have plenty left over or plenty that comes out the bottom of the engine. Keep that stuff, it is so good at cleaning up your chain. So here's what you'll need for the job. Old engine oil, toothbrush or bigger brush, that might help you out. Gloves, of course, keep the oil off your hands and lots of cheap tissue paper. You'll also need a piece of cardboard to keep as little oil off the floor and off your rear wheel. And pizza box works well because it comes in two bits. Stick that up there like that. Perfect. Now what I do is I just do a section of the chain at a time. I do not pour oil all round and spin the wheel because it's very easy for oil to get dripping everywhere. You know, this is for cleaning. This isn't necessarily lubricating. So you want to get it on there, cleaned up and taken off. So here we go. You get your old engine oil, toothbrush. I just stick it in there and start brushing away. You can be nice and liberal to begin with and just do a section at a time. And once you've done a little bit, give it a thorough wipe down and you can see how you're doing and how much work you still need to do i've also brought this bigger brush um <laughs> this one's just way too small it's going to take ages and once you've done that section really clean it up well and then you can rotate the wheel and move on to the next section now here you can clearly see the section that I've cleaned up very, very quickly here. Come up very nicely. Obviously it's quite an old chain, so it's not as clean as a fresh chain would be compared to the section I haven't with all this old gunk and lube on it. Look at this section here, filthy, but no problem. Dab of engine oil. There you go, get cleaning, very easy. And here we are finally back round to the other side of the chain, the final little section that has not been cleaned. Look at the difference between that and the rest of it. Now look at that, a lovely clean chain. It's a bit of an old chain, so it's still not perfect, but compared to before, it's lovely. When you get to this point, give it a final wipe down to get as much excess oil off as possible. Now that's it, all done. A wonderfully clean chain. Now I would say this is a mechanically clean chain. It has not been stripped dry of all of its lubricants. There is still oil on there and it will in fact behave as a lubricated chain for a very short while. Um, obviously this is engine oil, it's not chain specific oil. So a day or two, you'll be okay leaving it like this. It's well lubricated, plenty of oil in there. But um, after a couple of days, come back and just spray some of that usual lubricant on there. This is a chain cleaning process I've just shown you, not a necessary an oiling process, even though it was oil I used to clean the chain. But um, it's pretty much free, as I showed you keep your used engine oil. You can get your chain back to almost sparkling condition, mechanically clean for next to nothing. Those spray on chain cleaners, it's so easy just to spray them on. It just goes everywhere and you use up half the can, often costing 10 pounds within no time at all. I will also add that some people have asked, is, is that type of oil okay on the O-rings in the chain? And I'll be honest, I've not done all that much scientific research into it. However, I've been using this method for years and my chains have lasted for ages. And also I have a theory that if engine oil is okay with the seals inside the engine that are subject to high temperatures and so on, and a lot more stress, 
I do think it will be fine with cleaning the seals on the chain. That's just my opinion and I'll stick to this method because it's cheap and really easy to do.